Good morning. I am Grace Matas. Welcome to Morning Talk. As a teacher in the primary level for many years, I have learned to use stories as an effective tool in teaching values. As all teachers know, one way of developing the student's critical thinking skill is analyzing twists or hidden meanings in a story they just read. So the goal is to go beyond what is written and discover the golden nuggets of wisdom in the story that they just read. So any story that can hone the skill is definitely worth discussing in class. The Gospel for this Sunday, the parable of the unjust steward, is one such material. Taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 16, verses 1 to 13, some commentaries say that this is probably the most difficult or the most confusing parable that Jesus ever told. So what is the story about? We know that there was a steward tasked to manage his master's business. Apparently, he has been cheating his master for quite some time. And when found out, he was fired for doing so, but not before he made a final accounting. Knowing that he will surely lose his job, he did some quick thinking to find a way out of it. So what did he do? He called all those who owed his master some money and reduced their debts significantly. Now, these men were obviously cheaters themselves because they didn't care about the unscrupulous way the steward was falsifying the records. And now what happened was they owed the master so much less than they actually do. By being shrewd, the steward was able to accomplish two things. First, he was able to secure his future by ingratiating himself to his master's debtors. And second, he was able to make his master appear more generous than he actually is. Now, what was the reaction of the master? Well, instead of being shocked and horrified, at what just happened, the master seemed to have been amused and even praised his steward for being clever. By sharing this parable, is Jesus saying that being shrewd is a commendable mark of one's character? Is he asking us to imitate the corrupt and crooked ways of the different players in the story? Definitely not. Being the creative teacher that he is, Jesus is telling us in a most unusual way that if we look more closely, there is something that we can learn from the shady characters, whom he called the children of the world. And what is that? That if we, his followers, referred to in the parable as the children of light, we'll only pursue our spiritual goals and work for our salvation and those of others, with the same energy, ingenuity, and cleverness, we could also achieve so much more. If we were to put our minds and hearts into serving God to the extent that the children of the world do in their worldly pursuits, there is no telling what we can accomplish. So in this story, Jesus did not praise the steward for his unrighteous actions. The admiration is for the steward's brilliant planning that assured him of a place in the future. He was cunning, but you have to admit, brilliant. This gospel teaches us a great lesson of stewardship, which happens to be one of Luke's most favorite themes. Christian stewardship reminds us that everything we have belongs to God. He is the sole owner of all that we have, and we are merely his caretakers. As such, we must use all these resources to make him known, loved, and served, to establish his kingdom here on earth, through service and sharing, and nothing else. So whatever is entrusted to us, we must administer for the good of all. 
and if God is our master, then all that we have will be and should be at his disposal. I believe it is providential that just as we are talking about stewardship, specifically this parable of the unjust steward, our country is also going through this painful process of purification. God's message couldn't have come at a more opportune time, don't you think? With everything that is happening now, it's like we are being made to realize that when the use of money is not related to the values of God's kingdom, or when we misuse the resources entrusted to us, things can go very wrong. People will get hurt. And those who usually get hurt are the poor, the weak, the powerless, who do not have the means nor the voice to protect themselves. That is the sad face of our society today. But when you think about it, for many years now, we have simply allowed these things to happen. And maybe it's because we didn't care enough. Until one day, it hit us in the face, and we ourselves felt the sting of injustice and abuse. But let's take it a bit further and ask, is it also possible that at some point in our lives, we were also unlike the unjust steward who worked to serve our own interests, thereby contributing to the corruption of the system in our society today? In the same narrative, Jesus reminds us that one day we will all be called to make a full accounting of all that we have been given, our life, our talents, our treasures, our time. And when that day comes, he will ask each one of us, My child, how did you make use of the gifts that I have bestowed on you? In what ways did you utilize them to do my will? What will be your response? And so, my dear friends, as we continue to reflect on this gospel passage, let us keep praying for a real conversion in the hearts of people so that we can focus all our energy on working for the true riches that truly matter, the true riches that only God can give us. Let us also ask for the intercession of our mother founders, Saint Marie Eugenia Jesus, who encourages us to keep our gaze always fixed on Jesus Christ and dedicate our whole life in the service of his kingdom. Together, let us make this earth a place of God's glory, where truth, justice, and peace prevail. May the true spirit of stewardship live in our hearts. Have a blessed week ahead.